Right, we're going to auto queue the civilians or villagers. Uh, move them over to farm eco to start. It's actually better to use or herd than it is to farm berries, but in the same token, uh, we want the sheep to fatten up before we start farming them for food. So we've got team one, which can actually uh, push into the enemy. Team two is not large enough to do that, but it can still um, destroy the walls. Definitely want to get the farm upgrade. Um, gonna grab a Pegasus. So it's grabbing an artifact. It's probably not that useful um, until later on in the game, but it's worth picking up. It just reduces the cost of siege weapons. So we've got two control groups. Team 1, which is the one that's going to do most of the heavy lifting. Um, just because it's got Arcantos and Ajax on it. Uh, we're not going to grab upgrades just yet. We don't need to. We are going to transition to a farm eco pretty quickly, but first things first, we need to build up a far, uh, uh, timber eco. And then we also need to transition to gold. Again, if you haven't seen the other video, the gimmick of this mission essentially is we've got two, uh, two bases. This base on the left side is food and gold. So the second base is wood and favor for the most part. Uh, you will be using um, or grabbing food on both bases just because of how farms work. So this army is basically large enough to take deal with the uh, the ads here and take down this forward base. Start uh, grabbing the uh, sheep. At this point, we are going to want to transition into gold. Also, going to need to grab some troops. These three can link to Ajax. This one links to Chiron. More on one hotkey. So gonna wanna grab the same sort of thing here. Use the right hotkeys. These three links to Chiron. Auto produce a few units. And grab upgrades on this one. This. Uh, transitioning into gold for this base. We do want to hit our age ups pretty quickly. Uh, the sooner we can get age four and get Volty plent Volty Plenty Volt, the better. Get it right in the end. You guys can. I want you to do the hunting eco because it's faster. This one's actually good for units now. We can stop auto production. These guys need to transition to farm eco. Prostagma, 
Πρόσεχε. Πρόσταγμα. Πρόσταγμα. Hold off the unit production for a sec. Let's do some better, more efficient farming. These guys into food. Getting food on this side, yeah, pretty good. We've got berries as well. We need to age up when we can. 800, 500 plus armory. Let's start doing that. Then. I've got a couple more houses. They cost 50, I thought they were 30. I guess I've been playing too much Age of Empires. Right, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, Eco's looking pretty good. Push on to favour production now. Let's age up. I'm going to go Apollo just because two reasons. One, is the uh, underground thing. It's just so used to being able to transition your army between two bases. Um, but also he has advantages to uh, archers as well, makes them stronger. I'm going to be using lots of Toxites for this mission. So before we go into more unit production, for the most part, I'm going to be focusing more heavily on um, upgrades and getting into age four as quickly as we can. In fact, we should grab this one before we grab that. That's a little too dangerous and risky. Bring you guys onto that as well. I just want to get the uh, Plenty Vault ASAP Rocky, so we're going to skip all the upgrades for a second and focus instead on just these little upgrades plus aging up. Brave. You're stupid. <laughs> One of the two. Maybe a bit of column A, column B. Brave for us to grab. Proceche. 
This one. Okay, we need to stop unit production at this point. Just set the mage up. And then we'll resume. Wrap this upgrade. Just wanted enough troops to defend just for now, just whilst we uh, upgrade, do all the good stuff. It's a worthy upgrade to grab. Especially as we're waiting for food income anyway. These guys off this. Oh, are these actually count as houses? <laughs> I didn't realize that. That's a bit funny. I just thought they were in the way. <laughs> Actually, grab these guys. Put Hephaestus. That's max housing, max pot. Let's go there. So I kind of want to build a temple for the healing. Is she going to build a second uh, armory? Actually, that's a really weird spot for it. Let's put it over here. I want to build uh, farms over here. Once they finish doing what they've got to do. Now where's Chiron? Alright, at this point we should be able to uh, start attacking the enemy. Alright, let's build a quick wall here to here. These guys can then build a wall from there to there. Great walls. Use the upgrades. Especially one that makes everything cheaper. Oh, <laughs> 
mulo. This slide, fine, wonderful. All right, now the fun begins. The epic tug of war that is. One thing we do want to grab a couple of is these. And these guys would at all actually. Okay, let's start rebuilding workers. The Interesting. Okay, so that's the This is the only problem with this mission I find is like just the rally points is just so hard to well not hard but they're just annoying. Prostatinos. Tapinos. 
This fortress up here. We're also going to want to grab the uh, um, settlement that's up here so that we can increase our pop limit. Wipes, what a mission. <laughs> This is why we cheesed it last time. Attacking us again. Yes, we're in position. We'll take down the Nemean Lions first. They are the big threat. Should have built a separate second temple there. to my base, but it's know they're there. Attack us here next. Do need to be careful we don't lose people here or we'll lose too much here I should say Back out of that. 
Temple here. This is a good place for us to defend both sides. I like the halfway point between the two. Yeah, I've got an alternate plan. Rather than trying to control two armies, of one army, I'm going to try and control two. Seeing all my supply, is it just these manticores? A free pop a piece. It's expensive. Ready for this attack next. This is a fun mission, it's just challenging. Lots going on. Not sure where those two are in my army. Use them. I wonder if it's worth just transitioning to Myrmidons. And this side. In fact, I don't have enough uh, favor. Frame max done on that. I think all the bar upgrades are done now. Lege, 
Τι ως ταγμα. This is pretty much the last gold mine that's easily obtainable. I mean, this one's arguably not too bad. Oh, how did I manage to uh, decouple all of this? Back it up, back it up, boys. Hold off on manticores, we've got way too many. Get ready to defend the other side now. Time to push this direction. Oh, they're coming from that angle. Interesting. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's kind of like a back door, sort of. Sort of. It's worth taking down then. Oh, they're going that way, nice. You smash him. I'm actually running out of uh, gold, so the plenty vault would be much needed. I'm aware we can push for the win, but I want to. Uh, I want to destroy Rad, not just beat them. Extra supply. So have they gone round this way then, I presume. Oh no. Oh, 
I am expecting a lightning storm any second. That freed up some supply, I suppose. Every cloud. And that's the main god power down. Okay, this time, if the enemy attacks on this side, I'm just going to. Uh... Oh, I don't know. Oh, I can't. Uh... There's a lot of patroluses. But the enemy looks to have got pretty much, well, committed pretty much everything to defend, to attacking us. Should be able to just kill everything off at this point. Save up so we can use our god path to uh, build an underworld. We smack him. Take these out. There's uh, essentially actors houses. Oh, 
Well, pretty much all they can build is uh, hot lights and uh, the true blues now. <laughs> Take out our infrastructure. Yeah, that's not what about doing. Red is indeed dead. We smack him. GG's. Tough mission though, tough mission if you want to do this the traditional way for sure. Hydras would arguably be better here, but Underworld Gate is too good. It's just too good. And Manticores aren't bad either. They rush in red and purple from the red clouds of the morn, from the temples where the yellow gods shut up their eyes in scorn. I will warn you this once. Enough babbling, coward. Come face me. Atlantis does not fear the likes of you. It should. I have warned you. Continue to pursue me, and I will spare neither you, nor your city, nor your son. Kaboom, baby. Alrighty, folks. Well, that's uh, how we tackle the uh, Mission 8 bad news on uh, Titan. The traditional route. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.